Hello once again, Star Wars and Unboxing fans. Welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba, back in the normal Darth Tuba studio proper, although I've been having so many videos over by uh, the more relaxing kind of couch videos that I really kind of prefer that method. However, for this one, uh, there's a lot of unboxing and it's a little more delicate because it is the holiday season. You can see I've got my my uh, Harvey Corman three-pack action figure boxed set that never happened, but I wish it did uh, for to celebrate Life Day, which is the Star Wars version of the holiday season, and it is now the holiday season upon us. This is Thanksgiving weekend, and for many folks, this is really the the start of the Christmas and holiday season. So, with that being said, I have got to return to this part of the studio because a we have our tree trimming, our tree needs to come up. Speaking of tree trimming, and B, we have our Hallmark ornaments. Yes, I decided this year to wait until all of the ornaments have been released, and I thought we would do uh, an unboxing on all of them. Now, a little disclaimer, I have actually pre-unboxed uh, and reboxed some of them to, to take care of any battery usage. Okay, it's not too many actually. I think I only had to do it with two or three. And then there are some that are kind of plug plug in, plug in ornaments. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to set up, I think we, I have them set up for a wreath and I'm going to put them on a wreath and connect them. And we will uh, show you those, uh, either that or I'll put them on my tree, one, one or the other. And uh, we will show you all of those um, at the end of the video. So let's get started. Before we get to the uh, the actual Oh, this is a little bit of a loosey-goosey box. I am going to do the um, San Diego Comic-Con Star Wars Celebration exclusive first, which is the Bo-Katan, Kreez, and the Dark Saber, which is it kind of, it's not really a technically, it's called pop-minded. I think Hallmark releases a set of ornaments kind of all year round. So, and since this, this just was released, well, it was released in the spring and then again in the summer. Um, this is, uh, you know, we want to make sure that these are, where they are. This is Bo-Katan Crease. Okay. Very nice. Uh, just, you know, again, these are just sculpted standstill ornaments. They're not action figures, but the artists and artisans at Hallmark do an amazing job at capturing likenesses and everything. So that is the Bo-Katan, but this is in fact a two-pack. And the two-pack includes the Darksaber with a little tiny <laughs> little hook to hang it on. Kind of an odd thing, odd choice, but then again, so what I want to do is I want to hang them on the tree where the dark saber is just out of reach from Bo-Katan. Get it? See what I did there? So that will be cool. All right. Now, some of these are some of these ornaments. My, my camera's a little high. Some ornaments uh, do actually stand on their own, but I would not in any way recommend doing that. It ends up being a uh, a challenging thing to do and you know, they're meant to be hung on either a tree or a wreath. Some people just kind of hang them on, you know, set up hooks and just hang them individually. I did that one year. I actually hung them off. I strung uh, Christmas lights in the rafters of the place we used to live, and I just hung all the ornaments off the lights, you know, just, just you know, with a regular ornament hook. So you can do that as well. Um, I will say that the Star Wars ornaments are massive in their amounts. So um, I was collecting Star Trek and Star Wars ornaments, but I have since retired the Star Trek collection, sold it off except for a handful of ships. Um, and then I'm probably going to start doing that with Star Wars in, you know, in, when I was putting up our tree. And, you know, again, I'll end this video with some video footage of, uh, you know, the, the, the holiday uh, looks of around the house. So you can see what they are. I do that every year. They're pretty much the same. Okay, this is the holiday... Um, the New Hope Collection keepsakes. This is Han and Chewie. And actually, this does go up on the tree. Uh, it is actually a pack that goes... <gasps> it's broken. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm a little... I'm a little shocked. Look at this. <gasps> I didn't open this one ahead of time because it didn't need batteries. Oh, my... Oh, well... Oh, okay. This isn't... This isn't too bad. This is just um, the uh, arm came out of its socket. It doesn't look like it's, yeah, it, it, it can very easily, it's not cracked or anything. 
So with a little drop of glue, which I can actually do right here, I have something I can use. So I will do that at the conclusion, okay? And, but you know, <laughs> poor, oh, poor Han's arm. Isn't it Luke's arm supposed to go off? But there you go, it's kind of got that, that uh, they're definitely going for that classic, like that classic publicity still of Harrison Ford and Peter Mayhew as Chewbacca and Han. You know, they're kind of going in that. It's a little bit off, off center, but really cool. And of course, once you plug this in with the other ornaments, they kind of interact with each other. I love those. Um, the, we have them on the wreath. They did a whole series with the, the ships, with a bunch of um, ships. But now they're doing the same with characters. And they're great. They release like one or two or three a year until you eventually you have the whole set. And they all interact with each other. The only problem is that, you know, the, the sound effects are great. But when you set it in motion and everything is there, like at least it happened with the ships, they, the, the whole series it goes through the whole movie. It takes like 25 minutes to get through everything. So it's kind of weird. But I'm going to take his arm off to remind me to repair that. And I will get that. Now, the only other thing that's a little bit wonky about those is that they, there's a special cord that you get that is supposed to um, plug in. But, you know, I put that up on the tree, but now I got to go in search of it. I got to find it in the tree. <laughs> so that will be interesting. So, all right. Let's move this here. Next up, this is one without, another one that does not need any batteries. Um, this is the IG-88 and Grogu. I do keep all of these boxes. Um, I don't store the figures, I'm sorry, the ornaments back in the boxes. I kind of have an ornament display case. The display, not display, I'm sorry, an ornament storage case that I just kind of rest them in. But um, that's cool. I like that they didn't go with the IG-88 same mold. Instead, went went for a whole new sculpt. Because he is different than IG-88. And there's, of course, little Grogu. We're going to see some more Grogu later. But I love that. He's kind of like the nursemaid. Really cool stuff. I'm going to just lay these down as I do them. Um... This is my, I'm one of my favorite. This is my favorite time of year, the holidays, because um, you know there's just been so much really awesome stuff that has come out, uh, and and it's you know seasonal, so you don't keep it out all the time. Now these are an interesting thing. These are Star Wars miniature ornaments. Um, these are meant if you have a very small tree or a very you know something that would go like on a tabletop or a desktop. Um, and they were doing these for a while, and then they kind of took a break from them, and then they brought them back. Somewhere in the collection, I have a wreath. And the wreath has a whole bunch of these small ships on them. And I really want to find it so I can put these new ships on it as well. But I haven't been able to find it. So here's, here's the Jedi Starfighter. This looks like an Episode 2 Attack of the Clones celebrating its 20th anniversary. So it makes sense. And there's, of course, the Jango Fett Slave 1. Oh, I'm sorry. The Fire Spray, as they call it now. Yeah, it just says Django Fett and Obi-Wan Kenobi Starfighters. Interesting, right? Okay, I'll, I'll line these up there. Yeah, so some of these I may be looking at um, removing. If I have a lot of the same type of ornaments, I mean, you know, they've, they've released a lot of characters. Speaking of which, here we have Mace Windu again. And it is Star Wars Attack of the Clones 20th anniversary. Okay, so I believe I already have a Mace Windu, so there's a chance that one of those Mace Windus, I'm going to see which sculpt looks better. Um, and again, I've gotten to the point now where even for my holiday decorating, I don't need um, multiple of the same looking ornament. Although I will say his, his uh, facial is a pretty good likeness, right? Sorry, I'm not to focus it. There you go. You've got the cool thing. No light up here. No, no, no... Uh, extra uh, special effects or anything, you know. Um, this does stand on its own. You can see his there. It's a little wombly, so I would not recommend doing that. I never recommend doing that. I cannot believe that I, I am in shock that we are celebrating Attack of the Clones 20th anniversary. It's just boggles the mind. Boggles the mind. Okay, and now, interestingly enough, this is an Obi-Wan Kenobi, but you can tell by the way he looks, it is the Revenge of the Sith version of Obi-Wan, which I find interesting that they chose that this year. I did find, it's not going to be in this video, but I did find an, a smaller Obi-Wan at the more uh, mass-produced, retail-centric, meaning it found, you can find the Hallmark ornaments in every retail and not just Hallmark stores. 
and there was an Obi-Wan from the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series. But this is definitely, you can tell by his hair, definitely looking at Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, and that view. I don't think he did that, that, that pose with anybody else other than Grievous. So, pretty cool. And in this one has a nice flat cape, so you can, you can tell there you can see his face. I can even put him on the box. Stands no problem. This would be one I would say if you want to stand one. In fact, I might actually stand this one um, on, on a flat surface this time. All right, so awesome, awesome, awesome. There, yeah, the, the Hallmark comes out with so many stars. It's so funny, like, you know, if you're into something like, you know, Peanuts or even Disney characters, and then they come out with like two or three ornaments every year. Star Wars, they would come out with like, look, what, 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 what are we up to? One, two, three, four, five. That was a two pack, so six, seven ornaments so far. Seven, and we're not near done. That's a lot of ornaments. Oh, tell me you're going to look at this and not cry. I'll see you again. I think it's called that, right? Yeah, I'll see you again. Star Wars, The Mandalorian. Oh, so cool. I don't want to watch. Oh, now, I will say, doesn't really hold up. Doesn't stand on its own. Definitely want to hang this one. Okay, Grogu takes up a little weight, pulls him forward. So, but the sculpt is gorgeous. Although I do think they have, I think, um, they might be a little bit heavy on uh, Pedro Pascal's eyebrows, but otherwise, okay. All right, continuing on. Oh, from the Mandalorian, a Jedi returns. Luke Skywalker from. The last episode of episode two. I mean, really cool. You got the droid broken down there in the front. You got the force push. You got the, the cape, you know, partially blocking the eyes, the green lightsaber. You know, the only problem with not putting these, you know, if you were to try to open up and close every box of every ornament that's come out in the last 26, 27 years, it, it, it just doesn't, it won't, wouldn't happen. You would literally, uh, it would take you half a day to take out the ornaments and put them up, and then another half a day to take them down. It already takes me close to two hours to put them all up. So the only problem is all these lightsabers hanging like that, you got to be extra careful when you rest them down, because when you rest them, you know, I mean, I have kind of a set of ornament things that you're supposed to do one per thing, I do sometimes two or three, and I'm trying to get away from that because it's better to do one for one for one because then, then it's separate, nothing's touching it, and you don't run the risk of this breaking off. But this is an awesome ornament. And of course, it stands no problem. So this is another one I might actually have it standing on its own. Very, very cool. Um, did I do this right? course my hey man great viewing isn't it right i'll have to take care of that another day another day so I'll place this over here over here i'll fix it later all right let me get an electric one in. oh well no that one i'm saving for the last one all right uh but i'll do one electric one now or one battery operated one now again we're on a mandalorian kick makes you makes you wonder what's coming next will we be getting a lot we already got boba fett like last year so I find it interesting that they waited this long for for Mandalorian. But this is the, oh, the Razor Crest. Rest in pieces. Not even pieces. But it's a beautiful piece, right? Beautiful. And then. I wonder how long it goes. Saving that one. Wow. And he fades away. Do you all, do you all, do you all, do those of you remember that are my age, remember the old, like, 
pull string toys and you pull a string or even like the Imperial Troop Transport where you have a battery and you press a button and, and you get a little CPO. All too d too wet. Ah, you. Remember that? We thought that was the epitome of technology. Crazy stuff. Crazy times, man. You kids today with your fan dangled ornaments that are like telling the whole story of Star Wars or any one of the movies or the TV shows. Huh. You don't even know. You don't even know. Here we have Darth Vader, and Han Solo and Chewie, and this is another one of those kind of sets of ornaments. I do believe that um, there may be one more year. I think there were two that came out this year, th last year, three that this year. I don't know if there are five or seven, so I'll have to see. I know I'm pretty sure I have Luke. Oh no, I think three, four, five, six. Yeah, I, I can't remember. I can't remember if this if this is the complete set or if there's more coming. But there's Vader. Now this now I have a few Vaders and then Vader might be something that you know this is these are kind of nice and I kind of like the electronics with this so this is making me think about possibly removing some of my other Vaders getting rid of them in favor of this one just because it's a great sculpt and it's got the nice little base on it so again you don't have to put them on the tree you can completely keep them separate I'm actually thinking about doing that I'm thinking about putting these just kind of separate like in some location and. Uh, I'm glad, you know, and I got to tell you, I've said this on past episodes when it comes to ornaments, I'm liking the no batteries. Um, you know, the first electronic ornaments, they actually plugged into a Christmas light socket. So you would take the light out and you plug the cord in from the ornament and it lit up or maybe made sounds or whatever. And it was great. But when you had four or five or six or 10 ornaments, then you were lining up all, you know, you ruin your lights because by the time you got them all plugged in, the rest of the lights didn't work. They would, or they get really dim. And then it kind of affected the way the look of the tree was. So then they started using batteries, like little tiny batteries, sometimes um, AAA, on the rare occasion, AA, and that's great. But now you have batteries and now you have to take the batteries out or leave them in until they die. But hopefully they don't die in the middle of the summer. And then by the time you get back to them in the winter to put them up, their batteries are leaking and then that destroys the ornament. So then they came out with these kind of things where you plug them into a special cord and by themselves, they don't have to worry. You can store them easily. They don't take up, they don't, there's no batteries dying and the cords make them uh, do their magic and action and everything else, which is nice. So I kind of like that. Uh, of course, then you have to find a way to power them and everything, which is, you know, you have to plug them into your tree as well as the lights, but still it's kind of a nice option. All right, we are moving right along. Let's do a smaller one. Cute little um, BB-8 Lego miniature. Okay, Lego has been really uh, getting into the getting into the game too. We got our quite a few Star Wars. Oh, look at this little! <laughs> Almost dropped it. Sorry. There's a little, but it, but this is huge compared to what BB-8 Lego looks like. But look at his little hat. Kind of reminiscent of the, the, the Lego Advent Calendars episode coming. I'm probably going to do shorts with the uh, Lego Advent Calendar. So keep your eyes open for that. Look at that. Look at that little guy. All right. I have a smaller tree that I'll put this little guy on. All right. We are moving along. Let's do another. Um, oh, I think we have one more of the, the magic ornaments that's going to, that you know, that interacts with the, the interactive ones. This is, of course, this is Leia. Our beloved Carrie Fisher, still gone way too soon, and we miss you terribly. But again, these, if anything, if you're gonna if you're gonna want to take them, you know, really protect them, these boxes are really easy. They open up, they just pull out. And one nice thing is they're getting they're, they're fully. Some of them didn't even have plastic on the inside; it was just cardboard. Those did have plastic, but oh, you got that great pose. <laughs> um, I like it. I I don't know. I don't want I want to line this up with the picture of Leia. It, it seems a little, a little too sassy, but um, maybe not. I mean, you know, Carrie Fisher's pretty sassy, so I guess we can go with that. So, awesome. Very good. One more sort of miniature. Yeah, these are, <laughs> these are kind of weird. Um, they've been doing some of these. Um, they have these little medallions. Galactic Empire versus... These are very strange. There's three each. Oh my, Man, oh, oh my God, no, is there three? Yeah, there's three each. It's just a little medallion. It's a, there's your Imperial Cog, it's just a metal thing. And there's three of them. So that's nice. 
it's a little bit, it's a little wonky. I'm not quite sure what the, I mean, I know they had, um, in previous years, oh God, this like plastic, uh, trying to take them out of this box. And then they had three, um, here's the, here's the rebel. Here's the rebel one. They're almost like coins. They are metal. Um, and yeah, they, they ha had released one last year. They had like an, an X-Wing and TIE Fighter thing. And there was like three of each. They're cool, but I don't know. They're not, I don't, I, don't, I mean, I think that the kind of thing, if you want to have a, you know, maybe there's something you want to put on your tree or on a wreath or something or on a miniature tree that is not overly to, you know, that it's not overly in your face Star Wars. It's just more, more subtle. So they give you three of each and you can kind of like, you know, like if you, there are people that like to tr decorate tree or, trees with, you know, different character ornaments and, and, or different holiday ball, Christmas balls that are depicting different scenes. But then there are others that just like to put ribbons and like the same color ball, like silver balls or, or red or gold, you know, and that looks very nice as a tree too. Personally, my favorite is to, you know, have it be a, a splash of all the different kinds of memories that we have and things that we love. So. I like it this way. Those are nice. I'll, I'll get them up there somehow. And now we have the creme de la creme, the coup d'etat. Now, I, there's some people were saying, I think they're thinking there's too much Grogu these days. And I will say that I don't disagree that there's a lot of gro Grogu. Too much Grogu? Maybe. I'm one that says, you know what, people are, you know, they, there was such a, a thirst for Grogu back in the uh, early, that first year we saw him, because Grogu was not something that, Grogu was not something that we had anything of that first year. And the only thing you could get are people's, you know, creative endeavors via Etsy. And then the next year, it just, the floodgates opened up. And now we're into the, was it 2019, right? I think is when we first introduced. So 2021. So now it's been three years and Grogu still has dominated everything. But Check this one out. All right, here we go. He's eating his frog cookie. I love the frog cookie. So freaking adorable, I can't even tell you. So an amazing, amazing addition to the collection. And... And the fate, now I will say this though, when you are storing your Grogu, if you're not going to store it in the box, make sure it is in an independent place because you see these little ears, see this, these ears are like latex. I mean, they're very, or not, they're very, very, very loose. I had a similar Yoda action figure like this, or not action figure, ornament, and somehow when it got stored, it fell on its side and the ear bent. And after being like this throughout the whole summer, and the fall or spring, summer, and fall, it came back and now the ear is permanently bent. So you have to be very careful with this. Um, not to, I mean, in fact, I think what I want to try to do with that other Yoda ornament is actually try to get a paper clip or something to straighten it out, like put a tourniquet on it to straighten his ear to see if I can get it back to normal. Because I really love it. It also, it's Yoda talking with the mouth moving and stuff. So this is the Grogu version of that. So fantastic. So Honest to goodness, folks, uh, another banner year for the Star Wars um, ornament collections. And, uh, you know, lots of things you can pick and choose. Lots of things that you can look for and, <laughs> you know, check out on your own. Some great additions to your tree. And some things that maybe, in, maybe in fact, might be uh, worthy of your purchase and maybe some things you might want to skip and, and check out and, and save for later and do, oh, I want to, I didn't check to see if there's the Mandalorian. Uh, no, he kind of, yeah, he has to be, he has to be there. So some great ones here, folks. Uh, you know, Hallmark's done it again. They do, they're such a great thing. They're such a great, and I love the seasonal collecting. I think that's a fantastic way for some people to, you know, indulge in a little collecting without, you know, clogging up your shelves and whatnot all year round. However, these are just, there's nothing, with the exception of our little uh, of Grogu here and our little BB-8 Santa hat, there are no um, 
uh, references to a holiday on these ornaments. They are strictly, um, they are strictly just, you know, IP. They're strictly just the imagery from the movie or the TV shows or what have you. So they can stay out all year. And if you're looking for something a little bit more unique than, say, action figures or, you know, 12-inch figures or statues or busts or things of that nature, this is a great way to, you know, pick and choose different things. You can find these, you know, from previous years. You can find them on the Internet, on eBay, on, on places selling them all over the place. They do not um, get, you know, they don't gather... Uh, up uh, huge amounts of uh, money, even though there's, you know, there's usually a shelf life, it's usually just a year, then you don't see them again. Um, you can probably, you can usually find a lot of them, unless they're exclusive, you can find them on uh, eBay for relatively inexpensive amounts. So that'll do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, I'll do all the other stuff. Check out all my videos and playlists on YouTube. Uh, check out all the other content available on Red5, uh, the Red5 Network, great amount of podcasts and YouTube channels, the War of the Stars podcast, one that I'm, that I'm associated with from time to time. And I, I want to um, also just give a shout out to, again, to all of you out there for having a wonderful Thanksgiving and, a, and a, enjoy the beginning of the holiday season. There will be many holiday-themed episodes, along with regular episodes, coming up in the next few weeks as we get into that, that time of year. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, may the force, toys, and ornaments be with you.